Hello, I'm Jerry Fort, the Beer Review Guy. I've got a uh, one pint of ale, it says. It's a Rough Tail IPA. Um, let's see. Hoppy flavor and can be bitter on the palate. It's kind of hard to read this stuff inside this this little gray. I don't know if you can read that or not. Inside that gray area, it's really hard to read. It has a little information back here. Let's see, Fine Ales of Oklahoma. Yeah, Stephen Bush, he gets a lot of the rough tail beers because they're up there near him, I believe. Um, aggressive flavor for, forward. Um... Rough Tail IPA is brewed to kick your taste buds in the ass and leave your palate begging for mercy. Pine, resin, and citrus aromas keep out, leap out of the glass. The extreme bitterness hits, ne hits next, gives you what you desire. The finish is dry, clean, and leaves you wanting more. We put a crazy amount of hops into this beer and just for you. Fellow hop heads enjoy, uh-oh. Food pairings, cuisine, strong spicy food, cheese, gorg gorgonzola or cambozola. Never heard of that one. Meat, smoked beef brisket. Chicken fried steak. Man, this is making me hungry. Dessert. Caramel apple tart. Ginger spice cake. And persimmon rice pudding. Whoa. Okay. See, does it say IBUs on here? Aggressiveness. See here? There's a little scale right there. And that scale is all, like all the way to the edge of the can on the aggressiveness. So, I wonder, let's see, surely it tells the, I, the, the uh, ABV on here. Let's see. Here's Matt. Here it is. 6.7% ABV, 80 IBUs, 5 different hops, the Columbus, Citra, Simcoe, Summit, and Centennial. Wow. This is going to be a crazy beer right here. I'm a little anxious to check this thing out. took three minutes before I could even pour the, the beer, so I apologize about that. I just, sometimes I like to making sure people know about what the beer is all about. Okay, wow, I'm excited about this one. Finger of head, the head is white. The color is kind of a uh, well it looks like an IPA it's a hazy dark dark yellow um, I see some light carbonation in there I see a guy on there Roma oh man this smells good my glands just went what Grapefruit, sweet grapefruit, like take a grapefruit and cut it in half, sprinkle some sugar on there, very citrusy, getting the hoppy kind of aromas, the grapefruit is, is, the, height, is the heightened aroma in this, maybe just a little bit of a sweet fruit. Maybe mango. Man, I'm anxious to get into this. Let's see what we got. Whew. 
Wow, that is awesome. Man. Oh my gosh. That is a really good beer. It's got a little bit of a, the grapefruit peel going on in there. Um, with 80 IBUs, phew. yeah, I'm getting the dryness. I'm getting the bitterness. Um, I tell you, it doesn't. It doesn't seem like it doesn't seem like 80 IBUs to me. If this thing is just a smooth, easy drinking IPA, wow, that is an incredible, tasty beer. I am getting a little bit of a of a a kind of a sweet um, the meat of the fruit. Maybe it's 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 like a it's like a mango type taste, but the grapefruit peel is you know it's the it's the peel plus a little bit of the grapefruit too. Um, but my gosh, uh, 6.7 ABV. I'm not tasting the alcohol. Just a whole lot of hops, different, different hops. Like it said, and there are five different hops. Man, they just, they, this is a, a very well-made beer. Whew. Nice job. Nice job, Tony Telly, T-I-E-L-L-I, Brewmaster. Phew. My gosh. The guy is an artist. All right. Um, the body is uh, light to medium. Um, yeah, just the... The dryness lingers a little bit, fades away into the the, the bittering hops. Sitting there on the palate with a little bit of the you know the orange peel, I mean the grapefruit peel. Sorry, is this, is right there. Very pleasant, a very pleasant aftertaste and mouthfeel at the end. Excuse me. Um, carbonation is is light on the burn. Phew. Very good beer, man. Here I'm almost at nine minutes, getting close. All right, well I'm gonna end it there. I appreciate you watching. I would definitely buy this again. Um, just a fantastic beer. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And we'll see you all on the next one. All right, bye.